Hey guys, welcome to Big Joe Malia's World. Today I am making another crock pot meal. Making beef and broccoli. Welcome to Big Joe and Malia's World. Where we keep it hillbilly fabulous. Yee yee! Okay y'all, beef and broccoli in the crock pot. It's another really easy recipe. You basically just put everything in the crock pot and turn it on. That's pretty much all you have to do. Um, I'll include all the ingredients and the instructions in the description. Here's what you gotta have. First thing you gotta have, of course, is beef. And this is sirloin steak. And I just sliced it. I just sliced sirloin steak really thin. You can buy it already sliced, but I just bought it and sliced it myself. It's really no big deal. Okay, you got to have soy sauce. You've got to have a little water. You have to have sesame oil. Brown sugar. Big Joe's favorite, sriracha. You also need garlic powder, chopped green onions, of course, broccoli, and you need sesame seeds. So, basically, what you do, take your crock pot, take the lid off. This, y'all are gonna die when you see how easy this is, okay? Really, it's really, really simple. You just put the beef in the old crock pot, spread it out so it is um, not so piled up on, the, on, on each other. You just kind of spread it out so it coats the bottom. Then, take the broccoli. Now you can use fresh broccoli if you want to. This is just frozen broccoli. It just I just happened to have it. That's why I used it. Um, do the same thing with that. Kind of spread the broccoli. And I use broccoli florets. I assume you could use chopped broccoli or whatever. But I used broccoli florets. Okay. Soy sauce. Pour it over the top. Do the same with the water. Brown sugar. Sesame oil. I love this stuff. I love sesame oil. It is so good. It is delicious. All right, sesame oil. Takes quite a bit of sesame oil, but it is so good. So flavorful, and it smells good. Mm, delicious. Okay, green onions. You could also use white onions with this, I suppose. But I just really like green onions, or yellow onions, whatever onions you want to use, I guess. Sriracha. I'm going to put a little extra sriracha in there because the Big Joe loves it. Alright. I doubled the sriracha. <laughs> also, garlic powder. Now, this takes quite a bit. I'm not measuring it because I'm just kind of eyeballing it. But you can also use minced garlic if you want to. I just happen to like garlic powder. And I also happen to have it at the house. Now, Sesame seeds are for later. So, what you want to do, basically you want to stir this up and make sure that the brown sugar is dissolved in the water and the soy sauce mixture. This is what the beef and broccoli looks like when you've got it all mixed together in your crock pot. So, the next step, you just want to put the lid on it. And you're going to cook this on low for about four hours. We'll be back. Okay. When your um, beef and broccoli is almost done, about 20 minutes left in the cooking time, you want to do one final step. And what that is, is you want to thicken up your sauce. Now, how you're going to do that is you're going to use cornstarch. So, what you want to do, take the lid off your crock pot. Okay. Use you a ladle, get a little bit of the juice that's in the crock pot in the bottom, okay? 
I'm going to get just a little, about half a cup or so probably, just like that, okay? Now, you're going to add some cornstarch. About two tablespoons or so. Doesn't take very much, okay? Then, find your whisk. <laughs> find your whisk. Whisk this together really, really, really good. Get it all dissolved. Get all the cornstarch dissolved. That's very important, and that warm liquid will help it dissolve pretty quick. It really will. Okay. Once that's done, you want to just pour that liquid back into the crock pot. Take your spoon. Stir it around just a little bit. And you want to let it cook for about 20 minutes. And when Big Joe gets home, we'll let him do the taste test. Okay, the beef and broccoli's all done. Big Joe's home, so it's time for the taste test. All right, fresh out of the shower, Big Joe, straight home from work. Let's see that bowl. Ooh, made some rice. It's looking good. Take you a bite, see what Smells you think. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Good stuff. You know, I've made this before, but I've never made it in the crock pot. But it turned out good, didn't it? Mm hmm This is better than normal. Is the meat good and tender? Good and savory and tender. It really, that flavor really penetrates the meat in the crock pot. This definitely gets Big Joe's. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. All right, that's it for the crock pot. Beef and broccoli. Good stuff. Real good stuff. If you try this recipe, please let us know down in the comments. We love to know how you like all our recipes. And as always, we want to thank you for allowing a little bit of Big Joe Malia's world into your world. We'll see you soon, guys. Bye.